Then you go die in this video, I will demonstrate how to use the most essential sewing tool in Clone 3D. First, we will use this segment sewing tool. Simply click on that segment sewing tool right there to select. Or you can click on this tiny arrow right there to see more tool right beneath that segment sewing tool. So we have segment sewing tool and M to end segment sewing tool. We will get into that tool later. Right now, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this segment sewing tool. Simply click on it to select. So segment sewing tool means that we can sew from one segment to the next segment. Simply click and start, then click once again to end the sewing. Next, you can also use a segment sewing tool to sew from one segment to multiple segments. Simply click one to start and then press on shift. Click one right here and click one right here and click one right here. Now I'm going to release the shift key and now we sew from one to multiple segments. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to use M to end segment sewing tool. So M to end segment sewing means sew from multiple segments to one. How about though, you can also sew from one to multiple. For example, I will go to M to end segment sewing, click on it to select. I'm going to begin sewing from one segment to multiple segment. Click one to start, then press on return or enter on the keyboard. Then I'm going to click one right here, click right here, click right here. Then I'm going to press on return enter on the keyboard to finish the sewing. Okay, I can also sew from multiple segment to one. Simply click one to start, continue clicking and clicking and then press return into on the keyboard to finish. Then I'm going to click one right here and be sure to press on return into on the keyboard to finish that sewing. However though, when I look at closely, I made a mistake here. As you can see right here, one of my sewing is twisted. To edit that twisted, I will use the edit sewing tool. Simply click on it to select. And I'm going to mark key, select that sewing, right click, and right here. We want to select and link M to end sewing. Now, I'm going to click one on the page to deselect, then click one right there on that sewing, right click once again, and select reverse sewing. Okay, so edit sewing is also really essential when it's come to sewing in close 3D. For example, if you want to remove certain sewing right here, we can simply my key select that sewing, right click and then select delete sewing. Or while that tool is active, I can simply command or control plus letter A to select all that sewing and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete all the sewing, just like that. Next, we want to use free sewing tool. Okay, free sewing tool is right here from the top down here is number three. So click on that and under free sewing tool, we also have M to N free sewing. M to N free sewing works similarly to M to N segment sewing. I will go to that tool after we use this free sewing tool. Click on the free sewing tool here to select. And free sewing tool, I can simply click right here to start and then Hover the mouse to the right and then click once again to end. Then click one right here and click one right here to end. So as you can see right here, I can sew from one segment to the other segment with free sewing tool. Or I can also sew from one segment to multiple segment with free sewing tool. Simply click one to start, click one right here to end. And I'm going to press on the shift key on the keyboard and then click right here, click right here right here, right here. And then I'm going to release the shift key. Now the pattern sewn together. Another cool thing about free sewing tool here, we can precision sewing. Okay, click one right here, for example, and then hover the mouse to the right, right click. And in this case, I can type in the length that I want. I'm going to type in seven, then click on okay. Then I'm going to hover the mouse over here and then click. If I zoom in, and you see the blue point appear, which means that point right there is equal length to the sewing that I sewn earlier. I can stop my sewing right there, simply left click, just like that, or let command or control Z to undo. Or if I click seven centimeter, click on okay, or I can click one right there and continue, and then click one right here to sew that pieces together. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to use M to N free sewing or 
and to M free sewing, which is you can sew multiple to one or one to multiple. Before I'm going to do that, I want to remove this sewing. Simply use this edit sewing tool, click on it, and then my key selects all of that. Right click and I'm going to select delete sewing. I'm going to zoom in here and select that M to N free sewing. And I'm going to click one right here, hover the mouse to the right, click right there. This tool I have to press on return into on the keyboard to finish that one segment and then I'm going to click one right here and then click right here, click right here. So click to start, click to end. After that I will press on return or enter on the keyboard to confirm the sewing. And next I'm going to demonstrate how to sew this multiple segment to one segment using the M to N free sewing tool. Simply click one right here, right here, right there, click and click. Then I'm going to press on return or enter on the keyboard. Then I'm going to do the same here, then press on return or enter on the keyboard to confirm the sewing. There it is. Last but not least, I want to point out this tool right here. It's called check sewing length. When you click on that check sewing length, it just show you what length is equal and what's not. The one that's not equal length will have in this red line. And if you decide to turn it off, simply click on this X here to turn it off. Okay. After that, I'm going to use this tool to sew the garment. So I'm going to demonstrate how to sew that sleeve cuff using free sewing tool as well as segment sewing tool. To sew this cuff, we want to remove the sewing and make a copy of the sewing. I will show you how to do that. So first of all, use this edit sewing tool, command or control plus letter A, and then I'm going to press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete all the sewing. And next I'm going to remove half the pattern that I don't need. I'm going to switch the tool to transform pattern tool and then remove this half here. Press the delete or backspace on the keyboard. And I'm going to rotate the avatar to the front view. First, to sew the pleat, I want to fold it first. To fold the pleat, I will use this pleats fold and then click right here and then click right here twice. And by default, I have nice pleats and number of internal line per pleat is three. That's perfect. We'll click on OK. Next, I'm going to use free sewing tool to sew this pleat. I will come over here to this free sewing tool, then click one to start, click one right here to end, click one to start and click one to end. Then we also want to sew right here and to here. All right. After that, we are going to use the segment sewing tool to sew this placket. To sew the placket, I will begin sewing from this side here to this side, and then from here to here to here. Next, I will sew the sleeve cuff to the sleeve using free sewing tool. Okay, click right here. And now I'm going to release the shift key and then now the sleeve cuff sewn. Let me delete this facing as well. We don't need it. And by the way, guys, if I'm on the edit sewing tool, I see the sewing. But if I'm on the transform pattern tool, now the sewing disappears. Even though it is disappear, but it's still there as long as you select that edit sewing tool, now your sewing appear once again. Next, I'm going to sew the top together using the free sewing tool. First, we want to sew this sleeve cap here, press on shift and then sew this and then continue clicking. And I'm going to sew this with the free sewing tool as well. Now I'm going to switch to segment sewing tool and then sew this sleeve seam. Next, we want to sew this right here. So shoulder seam, I use that segment sewing tool as well. Next, I'm going to make a copy of that pattern right there, symmetric pattern with sewing. And then I'm going to zoom in and click one to place. And next I'm going to close the front right there with segment sewing tool, also the back as well. And let's strengthen the pattern first before simulate. So let's strengthen. 
Okay, there you have the signature. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And remember to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.